I, I'm pretty sure I heard a snipe that made me move in this direction. I didn't know who, I didn't know where, I didn't know any of it. All I heard was the sound of a sniper shot. Oof, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this one. Yes, I am still overseas in Greece at the moment, but we pre-recorded these videos for you. I want to show you this particular gameplay. It's going to be a little replay mode breakdown of some of my thought process as we got a victory royale. It's an eight limb game, and I have to warn you, there may be a pickaxe a limb to win the game. There may be a uh, little DMR sniper shot of a guy in midair. You're, you're going to see some fun times. You're going to see some awkward moments and mistakes that I made, as well as some ways that made me win the game. But let's break it all down right here, right now. And while you're at it, feel free to drop a like, a sub, and a comment down below if you feel like it. But I love you guys. Can't wait to see you back again soon on twitch.tv forward slash faster scar now in this one i am going for my competitive drop so when i play comp this is one of the spots that i love to land um probably shouldn't have said that because now it's going to be more contested but you know you do you ggs um but right here the spot actually is a mad fail now this is a perfect example of how to recover because at this point i've got the the two shot shotgun and i've got a hand cannon both gray that's it no heals no better weaponry nothing like literally most garbage drop ever on this one now you would think okay this is the game that you just throw and you know that's that's it right instead we go on to win the game even with garbage loot and i want to show you exactly how because again fortnite a, a big part of it is rng right it, it's the you don't know what you're going to get sometimes you get good loot sometimes you get bad loot you can't decide you can't predict it but adapting to it is what makes such a world of difference not just going all right well i just got some bad luck today i guess it's over but instead going actually i reckon i can figure this out now at this point i got no idea how to figure it out again gray gray hand cannon gray double shotgun but boom there it is starting to turn around already we've got a green smg you know what i don't need a repair torch so we're going to take the nades we'll take that burst and now we're chilling because i knew my loot route i also knew where to go now at this point i'm like everything i've got is gray other than the smg all right everything i'm not seeing much else that's very good i don't even have any shield all right some coconuts and i believe that there was a big pot just outside i was trying to see if there were minis anywhere there weren't so i'm just gonna pop it there's no point risking at this point i'm just gonna send it i hear the sound of an animal walking around and let's just see. Oh, never mind. I'm just like, which way am I playing this one? How am I going? All right. Heading over to Shifty again. I, I don't have good loot. So I don't want to take a fight. But I do want to loot up and keep an eye out on things. Until I saw this perfect opportunity. This guy is boxed up in wood. And he opens. He doesn't know I'm there. So I, I'm shooting out to see how he reacts. And the fact that he is now bandaging. I'm like, okay. He's weak. He's boxing up out of ward. He's not the greatest player in the game. So let's see if I can just pressure him from here. And that. I'm sorry, Carps. I'm sorry, but we need to watch that. Can we get, Can we just watch that one more time? That Carps was like, don't worry. I'll just shockwave out of here and it'll be fine. He didn't expect past the scar with the DMR. Oh! And there it is. Carps. Hey, love you, bye. But I threw up some love hearts. I threw up some love hearts. This is important. I know Carps was spectating me at that point because he was just like, bro, I shockwaved and one single bullet. It's not even like I just spam sprayed through the air while he shockwaved. I fired once and it was enough. And, uh, you know, again, my apologies, Carp. We love you. God bless you. Come hang out with us on Twitch. I hope one day you get to watch this video. Either way, I'm going to go down and check what loot he's got. Keeping in mind, I don't like my current loadout. Green pump, that's the upgrade. We don't need the uh, tent on this game. So we're like, okay. A bit better. Now let's go check out Carps' old loadout. See if there's any, anything there. Never mind, I actually heard a chest. That's right. Now at this point, I have no idea. Keep in mind if there are other players here or not. So I need to do whatever I'm doing quickly and carefully. And if you look at the minimap, there's actually three players here. Like I'm not the only one here. Now, I got shot at from someone over there. And his bullets are going through the roof. So, I'm very confused. But I'm also fairly convinced that uh, this is a fight we should be able to win. 
So instead of playing passive, now this is a decision that I made. Based off this player's accuracy, I thought either they're an AI or they're a player that's just not that great because they're shooting at a building, they're, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if I just sit back, they continue to put pressure and I get third party potentially. Or if I just key them, if I literally just press W key and go for it, they're going to freak out because of that pressure. If you've ever been pressured like that, it's terrifying. So I'm like, if this is a real player, they're about to freak out. I should be able to get the win. We go in, edit the cone. I see them there. Another cone, edit. And one big pump. K love you, bye. You got to love the big pumps. Othello54 is now officially out of here. Thank you for the loot, Othello. So now we're chilling. I can see at this point that the rest of shifty is i mean it sounds quiet but you just don't know if there's going to be someone else in there and i still don't have full shield yet so always check vending machines to see if there's anything worthwhile in this case it wasn't it was just a hand cannon chests of course are a must i know this drop spot well because this is where i land for comp so i know that there are two vending machines so i will of course go and check both at different points in time just to make sure that we are good to go on that one Big pot comes on through. And we're chilling. Now, at this point, I believe... Oh, there we go. We heard the boulder fall. We heard the boulder. I don't I don't have a ranged weapon here. I've got an SMG and a pump. That is it. So I'm like, while we're close, I can't do much. But I heard a footstep come from this direction. And I believe someone took me as a bounty. That's what made me look in this direction earlier. But never mind. This dude's just running at me. I predicted his edit there and got the pump. He's got splashes, so he's healing up. I did 33 damage, I think it was, and then he healed up for 20. So he's not very weak. I just need to make sure that I don't let him get height on me. That was a, a, a like awkward kind of maneuver. We both just kind of looked at each other and didn't know what to do. But either way, I just don't want him to heal and he keeps on popping these splashes. So I figured if I can just chop him, which I do, and that wall just straight saved my life. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just pause real quick because there was some decision making right there. If I just go back, once I saw us both get weak. See again here, I've, I've got 200 HP. Right, I'm chilling. But once I saw us both get weak, I could have just gone for the spray. Right. Sorry, I just muted to cough. I could have gone for the spray once I hit him with the pump. Could have done it, glad I didn't. Right there, I put that wall, I blocked it. I went for a pump shot, he blocked it. And I was about to start pressuring that floor because I knew that I got him weak. But dude, look at my health. I want eight HP. If I made that move, this game ends right here. Instead, I realize I full box out of hards. Med missed. Fortified wall comes in. I've got minis. I'm just doing what I need to. But remember, oh, that timing was so beautiful. That timing was so beautiful. Because I remembered while I was healing that there was a third pair of footsteps. Like it wasn't just two players. There was me, there was the one that pushed me, but there was the person that got my bounty on the other side of Shifty, as far as I was aware. And so in this moment, I'm like, all right, I'm going to shockwave off this. I'm so glad I did. I know the guy is in here healing. Trying to find him. He must be up here. He is. And I preemptively put the, the, the ramp down. So as soon as he dropped it, you couldn't really see it in the replay very well, but as soon as he dropped, I placed the ramp. So he fell and then the ramp blocked it, meaning I could then edit. I hit him for the 33. He still hasn't even hit me. 51. He still hasn't hit me. At this point, I need to reload. I am going for this pickaxe. And there, I closed it out. And at that point, I realized that uh, FaZe, FaZe Tano over here had a purple pump and a purple SMG versus my green pump, green SMG. I am so glad that I landed my shots because this guy could have put me down real quick. Like, that could have been the end of the run right there. But instead, I made sure I had that control I made sure that it was me placing builds, not him. You know, by me placing my ramp, 
as soon as he dropped it meant that he could no longer place anything there meaning he had nothing to edit and, and play around with i was the one flipping the ramp and editing the ramp and he just had to kind of try and land his shots which was a lot harder for him to do when i kept on moving the pieces around here i'm going to take a bounty because i just want to know whereabouts people will be um the bounty you won't be able to see it but the bounty that i got was oh actually it was this guy right here there you go that's cool because i couldn't see where he was all i knew is that it was a big yellow circle in that area but as far as i'm aware he's just in that direction i don't know where but i will keep my eye on that and keep my mind on that if you will at this point of course we're just gonna make sure that we've got all the metal we need anything else we can find you just want to go in as prepped as you can and again i'm i'm just scouting that way because i know my bounty is in that direction and my bounty is quite close i'm taking a look at this point i got confused because the zip line was there and i was like where does that go and i'm like oh, it goes up the mountain and here, I, I'm pretty sure I heard a snipe that made me move in this direction. I didn't know who, I didn't know where, I didn't know any of it. All I heard was the sound of a sniper shot. And so now I'm wrapping up the mountain, which is pretty funny because uh, if you look at the minimap, there's a player on both sides of this mountain and I had no idea. Here, I don't have a ranged weapon at all, but I see him on the zip line. Line it up, 31. And it, it looks like a tiny pixel, you'd hardly be able to see it. But what I did see is that player pull out a sniper. So I'm just like, nope, not today. Back up, go down the other side of the mountain. I'll take the car and I'll just get straight on out of here. As soon as I saw that mobility, I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Laters. We're already in zone, so we don't have to worry about that, but we're just going to go and get better positioning. Storm Eye is shrinking at this point, as you can also see. Now that, that yellow indicator on the minimap that is right behind me, I have no idea. I literally did not know that this player was behind me, but that's my bounty. So I thought my bounty might be in this house because it said that he was close. But I thought, yeah, maybe he's in this house. Let's try and find out. I hear nothing, I see nothing. Going in is a bit of a risk, but I just figure, you know what? At the, <coughs> at the chance that he's camping out somewhere in here, I'm not gonna walk into his trap. I'm just gonna light the whole thing on fire and then I'm gonna dip. And if I get an indicator of footsteps or damage, I'll turn around. Otherwise I'm focusing this area because my bounty could be in this house for all I know. Now, again, he's not, he's on the right. He's up on the hill, which I had no idea, but all I knew is that he's he's somewhere. I just didn't want to play it blind. I just did not want to do anything silly at this point. So just going to chill in the bush. I heard a snipe come from that direction. Now I'm looking up the hill. He's actually not up the hill. He's below it. And this part confused me. I'm going to be honest with you because I heard him snipe, meaning he shot at someone. So I'm thinking there's a sniper on this hill. I look down there and I see a guy swimming and I'm like, okay, that's the guy that was being sniped at. But no, that was the sniper he had gone from here to there after sniping the guy in the water so i'm still looking around thinking that there's someone with a sniper rifle like chilling out on this mountain maybe he's behind one of these trees you know he's where, where is he but there's, there's no one I, I was just being extra cautious there's no way i could have known that in that time that was one of those confusing Fortnite moments right where you just hear something you go check there's no one there because just perfect timing as you go they go the other way his zone is closing, 11 players left. And down there, I'm like, maybe one of these. Maybe one of these is my moment. Because I'm like, I, I want to refresh at this point. I, I don't just want to not be fighting. I want to continue to keep my hands warm and, and get some better loot if I can. <clears throat> and a player did just go down there. I've gone from top 11 to now top 10. So I know that there's a player below me here. And this part got a bit interesting. This fight is actually a pretty fun one. You'll see, as you can see in the elimination feed, there's about to be a lot of action one after the other. And here I grab nades and I know the guy's under the bridge. So I'm trying to see if I can jump onto this railing or the barrels. It's not letting me do any of that. 
And in that time, I hear him coming up. So I start lobbing the nades down the stairwell right as he shows up. Those are his ramps, so I'm just going to block it myself. I'm going to swap out to brick here as well. Now, I'm saving those barrels for if I need them. So I'm going to place a few cones and just edit up, see if I can get hide on this guy. But apparently, he's been waiting here the whole time. So I go, you know what? This is actually not worth it. I'm going to double back down because he's already tagged me. I know those barrels are there. I'm just going to go pop those. It means I don't have to waste any shield. I'm back to 189. So I just got 50 shield for free for doing absolutely nothing. He's right there. I managed to block his shot. Most of these edit, most of these builds are mine. So I know that if he comes down here, he's playing to my advantage. So I'm just trying to bait him out. But instead, he just goes back up top. He was actually pretty smart for not taking the fight down here. He knew I was in my element there. At this point, he jumped straight over me and now I'm above him. So I know he's below. And here I go, all right, let me pressure his wall. I was a bit rusty, so my pickaxe... I was standing here one step too far back, but he made a bad decision here and he went for the 50-50. He should not have done that. He should not have gone for the 50-50. What he probably should have done is done maybe a corner edit or a window edit, gone for the pump, then closed it, then made a decision. Instead, he just full committed. And when he opened it, I hit him harder than he hit me, but yet he still ran at me. At this point, he also had the crown, so I was pretty happy with that. I got a gold pump and a crown out of it. I know Storm is about to push. So I'm just going to make a quick decision as to what I want to stack and what I want to leave. And then we're going to get out of here. I also see another fight going on over there. So I thought, you know what? Again, every player I can take out now is one less player for endgame. So let me see if I can get in on this action. And here I realize that that is not connected to each other. And it's connected by just two pieces of wood. So instead of shooting or building up or any of that, I do this. Run up cheeky pickaxe now one of these players was pretty smart and they connected onto those other builds but the other one fell i managed to close it out with the pump sorry yizzle but you are out of here and now i know that there's one player left that's right here there he is he was looking in the wrong direction as i dropped down he was still aiming up and he was out so again these two are fighting each other i ended up taking them both out they would not have been very happy with that but it is what it is. And at this point, I am now 100% maxed out on mats. I've got the chug cannon as well, which is what we had in our last game that we won. So I'm feeling good. Gold pump. Gold um, SMG. No, no, I've traded it in for the hammer AR. Gold hammer, gold pump. I've got the chug cannon. I know I've got one shockwave as well. Now, there's three players left. My job is to find them. And oh, interesting. Once again, there are two enemies and I end up taking them both out, meaning when it was a top five, actually even top six, I believe, five out of the six final players, i.e. all that weren't me, were all taken out by me. That's actually really fun. It's actually really fun. Sometimes I play a lot more passively, but in these games, I hope you guys are enjoying watching them because these are some of the ones where I actually am just taking more fights and uh, clearly, clearly it's working out. So here I know there's one player above me I don't like being on low ground. I think I can get the advantage if I get up, up and I do. Quick edit down, 126. The hammer AR is not great for spraying, but it works out. Now the other player did just shoot over. So I'm just getting ready with the shockwaves in case I need to bail, but I would love to pop those minis first. That way I can save my chug cannon. And I hear the final player in a car, meaning I should be okay for the time being at least. You hear that sound of a truck. And so at this point, I'm just going to reposition. Now I'm at a lower level, so even if he chops me out, it's fine. I won't take four damage. I was waiting with the pump, but nope. So let's just heal up. And I'm just on the edge of zone here, as you can see on that mini map. And we do pull zone. So all I need to do is go a little bit further in, which I do, making sure that I strengthen these builds so it's not just a uh, shoot down one layer kind of scenario <clears throat> now i've got the advantage i see the truck and i heard that he was in a truck before so i assume he's in that cave i have no idea if he's in that cave or not but it's my assumption and it turns out i was right he is in the cave you'll see that in a moment but that's where i've got my eye on 
but that cave system can also mean you can pop out in multiple places so we also i also realized at this point that the other four players that i just took out are all spectating so i threw a little love heart in the way for them cheeky plug if any of you players are here please let me know in the comments down below god bless you and we are now ready to go i've got height i've got mats i've got heals i've got one shockwave left and i'm pretty sure i know where that player is and then i thought you know what why wait this out there's a truck right there and a truck is essentially a gas can if you use it the right way if you can blow up a truck or any vehicle it'll light a fire as you can see there are lots of uh wood trees and grass over there so now that i know the player is there i've tagged him for 30. if he didn't build that wall i probably wouldn't have known but now that i know i'm just waiting he doesn't show so i go you know what i'll just make him come out if he's not gonna come out he left the truck in a really awkward spot if i can just destroy that truck we should be able to win this game so let's see how it goes keep in mind i do end up winning this with a pickaxe a limb so if you're thinking oh okay this ending is going to be pretty standard scar's gonna light it on fire the dude's gonna die to fire nope that ain't how it goes we are gonna lure him out though and then uh go for a cheeky shockwave play there he is 30 and at this point i'm like okay he's actually landing shots on me so let's not let's not throw this win away it's a pretty good game let's see how we go all right i couldn't see him at that point i started typing in and then i thought you know what let me just tag him at least once more and then i'll just shockwave in i know this guy is that weak he's playing super passive i don't think he's a great player 31 31 okay at that point i'm feeling it let's go and this thunder pump would have been so clean but i just missed it cracked him to white so that's 33 white now i know he's weak we're gonna cone we're gonna just edit up i'm blocking his shot so he can't actually hit me at all once again missed the pump terrible plays again i'm giving you the raw breakdown including the bad moves and i made some bad shots there and then right there finished it and it was done ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed another one of these little breakdown gameplays and uh, again i'll be back in sydney real soon and when i am you can join me on twitch.tv for twitch.tv forward slash pastor sky in the meantime feel free to join us on discord or any of the other socials i love you guys god bless you thank you so much for hanging out and uh see you real soon all right god bless okay love you bye see ya